Well, hello everybody. It's time to get these doors uh, sealed up in primer so I can put all the interior parts back into them and get them back on the car, get the car finished up. Um, so today, I'm going to try spraying epoxy primer all on the inside to try to seal that up in here. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but other than that, I've uh, replaced some door parts uh, in the latch, so they work good. And I'm also priming the door tops and the door pulls and some um, windless trim that I have, a little mirror. But anyway, I'll be priming these doors up and getting them ready. Well, it's the next day and the paint's dry, so I'm going to go ahead and start assembling the pieces to the door. Uh, this piece is a little rubber stop. When the window rolls down, it um, bumps into this and rests on this. There's a little uh, nib right there on, the, on this mounting part, so I drilled a little hole right here to fit in there so it stays in there. Kind of got it lift up on the rubber a little bit and then it slides in stays there all right next is the felt track that the window slides up and down in and uh, I got these from Max they're made by Ventique and you can buy them with these brackets riveted on or without them I bought it with them I bought the whole kit for the doors um, and they don't stretch they're hard to get on here but what I've found to do is to go ahead and install it in the channel and then on this end here on this end you have to make sure that it's seated all the way down. As far as it can go. And then on the other side, the other end here, if this end is seated, you can usually slide this end over the metal. Work, work it in there. And that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and slide the glass in. I'm not going to slide it all the way in because I still have to put the regulator in. 
right, so to get the regulator in, I'm just going to set it in the position where it goes. I'm going to slide my window down. Get that roller in the track. Once I get the roller in the track, then I can... Um, Go ahead and turn it to the holes. The holes line up pretty close, and then you can get the screws in. Okay, now that should allow the window to open. go. And later on I'll put some grease in this roller track here. Alright, next we have the uh, door or the window cap. I'm not sure what they exactly call it. But anyway, the piece goes over here and it's got three screws here. Um, and there's a rubber channel that goes in here underneath. Like that. So when the window comes up, it fits in that channel right there. So I know from doing the last one, if I trim this rubber just at the end of the rivet and then glue it in, that'll be the right length. So that's what I'll do. Now in the kit, they give you a little bit of 3M glue to glue it on here. Spread it out a little bit so it gets a little better contact surface with rubber piece. I'm going to give that a little bit of time to set up. While I'm waiting for the rubber to dry on that piece. I'll go ahead and put on the door pull here. I did have to uh, repair one of these nuts on the bottom. I had to weld a nut plate in there. This doesn't. This thing doesn't fit perfect, but it fits. I had to uh, go to the hardware store and get some screws for this, and all they had was the. Phillips head, which kind of sucks because they didn't have Phillips back then. Or they might have had Phillips, but I don't think Ford used them. Maybe I'll switch them out another time. I guess I'm not that much of a purist, though. That kit that I bought came with an anti rattle, a piece of T rubber that goes in between here to keep that window from rattling. But, uh, I don't know if that came stock or not, but I don't have the metal piece for that T to go in. I'm not sure if it just attaches at the back of this or what, but I looked it up and the only thing I could see was a piece of metal that it slid into and I don't have that piece of metal. So I'm just going to go without it. My other, my 28 two-door sedan doesn't have it, so it'll be fine. Got good window, new uh, felt track in there, so that's going to help to rattle some. So anyway, there's the door pull and the window crank handle. Do have piece glued on there. I think it's pretty dry now. So this just sets on there. Like 
that. And then it's got three screws here to hold it. These holes are bigger than the screw top, so I'm going to have to put a little washer on a couple of them. Earlier I ran a tap through all these threaded inserts in here so that my screws would go in good. Make sure they were all good and repair them. I had to repair a few before I painted the door. Window rolls nice up and down. When you put these in or take them out, there's a little notch right here. And uh, what you have to do is you have to put it in, turn it like an eighth of a turn, and then it'll slide the rest of the way in. There we Kind of weird, the uh, key for these Model A's, from what I've read, I don't know if it's true or not, but the key part goes on the passenger side, um, and the driver's side door latch does not have a key. I guess back then it was illegal to get out on the road side, so they would flip a locking latch on the driver's door, slide over and get out on the passenger side, on the sidewalk side, and then lock the door. That's what One thing that I almost forgot was uh, these braces go in the back of the coop here. They go there to there. Yeah. Like that. And uh, this hole's kind of wallered out a little bit. So to repair that, really all you have to do is just uh, drill a hole to fit a dowel, glue a wood dowel in there, and then uh, drill a hole here for your mounting screw, super glue inside there to tighten, to uh, toughen up the wood, and then you have uh, new wood to screw into. I'm just using a little polyurethane glue because it expands in the hole, makes a nice fit. Once that dries I'll come back and just hit it with my little sander and level it out with the wood that's there. And after I drill the hole, give myself a little rod. It's, it's better if you have thin super glue Helps soak in the wood better. But I put super glue on a little rod. Stick it in the hole. Try to get super glue all around that hole. That just uh, hardens the wood, toughens it up. Helps it from crappy, cracking. Gives your threads something better to bite into. And once that dries, I'll just put my screws in. Well, there it is. Holes are repaired and braces installed. And uh, on to the next thing. But this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.